Hello, I'm Brittany Schaefer and welcome to Health Watch in Depth presented by UMass Memorial Healthcare. Health Watch in Depth is a program designed to inform you on health related topics important to you. Today we're joined by Narmeen Varani, a registered dietitian from the UMass Memorial Medical Center Weight Center. Narmeen will take us on a tour of a supermarket to show us some hidden gems that we might normally pass over, talk about ingredient lists and nutritional labels, and answer the age old question margarine or butter. So join us as we take a tour of a grocery store and learn to shop smarter and healthier. Hi, my name is Narmeen Varani. I am a registered dietitian working for the UMass Memorial Weight Center. And today we will be doing a supermarket tour at the Stop and Shop in Worcester. We will be looking at products, labels, talking about how to find healthy products, read labels, and put together convenient, delicious, and healthy meals using simple store-bought ingredients. So let's go shopping. We all know that vegetables are good for you. They are filled with antioxidants, vitamins, and fiber, and yet they only have 25 calories per cup or less. The problem is not many people have a lot of time to chop and prep them day to day, especially on weeknights. So let's look at some quick, convenient ways to incorporate more vegetables. A lot of these pre-chopped, pre-prepped vegetable items like zucchini noodles. These are great stir-fried with some tomatoes, garlic, basil, and Parmesan cheese. Stir-fries, um, Asian stir-fries uh, can incorporate chopped, sliced onions and peppers really well. Riced cauliflower, which is a really low-cal alternative to rice. Um, free Crumbled, this would take a lot of time to prep at home, but here it's nice and prepped and easy. A lot of novel vegetables, people are drawn to new vegetables, and many people haven't heard of jicama, which is actually a delicious, sweet, crunchy, cross between apple and potato kind of vegetable, and it's only 25 calories per cup. Delicious, dipped in hummus, guacamole, and other dips. I love these convenience products. Fresh vegetables, all sliced, chopped, shredded, and crumbled ready for your weeknight meals. I love buying fruits and vegetables that are in season because that's when they're most flavorful, most uh, delicious, and they have the least pesticides when they're in season. The problem is in winter, we don't get a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables that are grown inside of the US. We mostly get imported fruits and vegetables, and those can be high in higher in pesticide residues than the ones grown locally. The exception to that is melons. Melons are available year-round. In the winter, they come from um, Central American, Southern American countries, um, watermelons, pineapples, cantaloupes, honeydew melons are really sweet and delicious. And because they are thick-skinned and you end up peeling them, you don't have to worry that much about pesticide residues. So the natural food section is where you find a lot of um, ready-to-eat products that are preservative-free and organic. They do cost a little bit more than conventional items, but if you are willing to splurge, then you can find um, products that are more natural, organic, fewer preservatives. For example, these soups right here. These soups are an example of ready-to-eat meals that are lower in sodium and have fewer preservatives than regular canned soups, such as Pacific, Amy soups. They're really delicious too. I always have them at home in my pantry. The deli section is where you find a lot of convenience products, which are great for putting together weeknight meals, like rotisserie chicken, which can be shredded and added to sandwiches, stir fries, soups, and salads that are pre-prepped um, with deli chicken and vegetables and fruits and nuts and a dressing packet. You also get um, packages of ingredients that are meal starters. So you just use the items in the kit. It's almost like a meal kit with some grilled chicken, some vegetables, some kind of grain such as barley or brown rice. And you just put it together in a skillet and you have a meal in less than half an hour. It's really convenient and fairly healthy. Right next to the salad greens that are pre-washed and prepped, you also get salad kits. Now this has everything in the bag that you need to put together a quick salad in less than 10 minutes. There's lettuce, there's fruits, nuts, there's uh, some kind of cheese or dressing. And this one is especially healthy. The poppy seed dole chopped salad kit. 
the sodium is only 130 milligrams, which is not bad for a pre-prepped um, item. If you want to add crunch to your salads and soups, the slivered almonds and the salad fixins, which is a blend of nuts, seeds, dried fruits, and uh, crispy straws are great. They're better than croutons because they have more protein and fiber. That's something we'll be talking about a lot today, protein and fiber, protein and fiber. Why? Because protein and fiber add fullness value to meals, satiety value, keep you satisfied longer than things with carbohydrates, which tend to make you hungrier sooner. Using nuts and seeds in soups and salads will add more protein and fiber, which will make them more filling and satisfying, as opposed to adding croutons, which would add carbohydrates and make you hungrier sooner. Charter TV3 and UMass Memorial Healthcare have teamed up to bring you the latest news and trends in healthcare. Health Watch, presented by UMass Memorial Healthcare, brings you the healthcare topics that are important to you. From stroke prevention to allergies, skin care to sports injury prevention, and nutrition to pregnancy, Health Watch and UMass Memorial Healthcare informed you on the issues that affect you on a daily basis. Health Watch on Charter TV3. For extended interviews with UMass Memorial Healthcare experts, log on to our website. When it comes to health care, one phone number is all you need to remember. 855-UMASS-MD. 855-UMASS-MD connects you to our network of more than 1,600 great doctors with expertise in every specialty for adults, kids, and babies. More doctors, more expertise, more locations. Wherever you are, we are there. UMass Memorial Healthcare. 855-UMASS-MD. Everyone knows that seafood is a good choice, high in protein, high in omega-3 fatty acids, but you can also get convenient options in the freezer section where you get pre-cooked frozen shrimp, salmon burgers that just need a few minutes to thaw in the microwave, less than five minutes, to put together a quick easy meal that's high in protein and omega-3 fatty acids. We're in the meat department and we're looking at sausages and bacon. Now, Generally, I used to just walk by this section because I always thought that sausage and bacon were really high in sodium. But upon looking closer and looking at the fine print, I realized that there are options that are much lower in sodium than I thought. For example, this Nature's Promise apple breakfast chicken sausage has 280 milligrams per link, which is much lower than most other brands, which closer to 400, 500 milligrams of sodium. This turkey bacon also is close to 200 milligrams per slice, which is not bad compared to regular bacon, which can be 350, 400. So when we look closely at the labels, it is possible to find options that are healthier than we might have thought. Uh, that are lower in sodium, uh, few, with fewer preservatives. Um, when we take the time, a lot of times we just stick to our grocery list and get the things that are on our list. If we really take the time to explore, look at products that we may not have looked at before, we can find a lot of hidden gems. Grilled chicken strips are very convenient. They are pre-prepped, pre-cooked, and ready to add to salads, sandwiches, stir fries. Um, and if you look closely at the labels, you realize that they're not so bad with, in terms of sodium. Sometimes products that say seasoned, you would think that they have more sodium than just the grilled, but upon looking at the fine print, we realized that the seasoned chicken strips actually had less sodium than the grilled ones. So the point here is always read the fine print, always read the labels. Don't assume just by what the product says in the front whether it's healthy or not, because you might be surprised when you read the labels. There's more convenient products um, for your weeknight meals, like these simply mashed sweet potatoes, which have more vitamins, more fiber than regular potatoes. And upon looking at the label, I was surprised. I thought that these would have a lot of sodium because they are processed and pre-cooked, but they only had 160 milligrams of sodium per half cup serving, which is not too bad. 
the shredded hash browns again. My first thought was, oh, this is going to be loaded with salt, but just 55 milligrams and half a cup, that's not bad. And much more convenient than trying to make these from scratch. We are in the dairy section and we are looking at all these different flavored yogurts. There's so many different choices. And depending on what you're looking for, you can find something that's suited to you. If you have diabetes and you're watching your sugar intake, you will find low sugar alternatives such as the Dan and Light and Fit, Oikos Triple Zero, which are flavorful yogurts but without added sugar. If you're just someone who uh, is looking for uh, yogurt snack, you might want to go with a um, whole milk, higher fat yogurt than a low fat fat free, especially if your cholesterol levels are fine because the whole milk yogurts tend to be more filling, more satisfying, and less tart, less sour than the fat-free yogurts. They sometimes also tend to have less added sugars than the fat-free yogurts. I love getting the Stonyfield Farms um, smoothies and yogurts for my son's school lunches because they are fairly natural, organic. They don't have a lot of added ingredients, preservatives, colorings. Even the colorings that they use are natural food coloring such as beet juice and carrot juice to flavor their uh, yogurts. Everyone loves cheese. Um, cheese is a filling, delicious snack, sweet, salty, um, high in protein, calcium. The best cheeses are Swiss cheese and mozzarella cheese. Those have the highest amount of protein and least amount of calories per serving. Sargento Balance Breaks. These are great on-the-go snacks. They have everything right in here, something salty, something crunchy, something sweet. So there's nuts, cheese, and dried fruit in one pack. It's portable, um, and it's very filling because of the combination of protein and fiber. Not too bad in the calories, less than 200 calories per pack. If you look at the string cheeses, everyone knows that string cheese is good. I actually get the regular string cheese as opposed to the reduced fat because there's not much difference in the fat content. Mozzarella cheese happens to be a naturally lower fat cheese compared to other cheeses, so you need not go for the reduced fat cheeses. Sometimes cheeses that are fat-free, low fat, have a lot of added uh, preservatives, whereas if you go with the natural cheeses, you just look at the ingredients and you just see milk, salt, and cultures. So my number one rule for label reading is look at the ingredients list. The shorter the ingredient list, the better the product for you, the more wholesome the product, the fewer preservatives added to the product. And this is true for everything, for breads, for cereals, for cheeses, for processed foods. I first look at the ingredients list before I look at the nutrition label. And I love to buy products that have really short basic ingredient lists with items that you can actually pronounce, real food items. When it comes to making a choice between butter and margarine, butter is definitely the way to go because margarine can have hydrogenated fats which have been proven to be the worst for heart health and um, for, the, for, for arteries. Regular butter is the best. Butter is that it's not spreadable straight out of the refrigerator. And so this is something that I personally use at home, Land Lakes butter with canola oil. Just two ingredients, butter and canola oil and it's spreadable right out of the refrigerator. There's also something called whip butter. This is another product that I really like. This has half the calories and half the saturated fat of regular butter, but yet there's just two ingredients, sweet cream and salt. Sometimes when you look at margarines, you look at the ingredients and you see hydrogenated oils, colorings, flavorings, a lot of um, extra ingredients that we don't really need. So I like to stick to pure, simple, and um, just regular butter. Charter TV3 and UMass Memorial Healthcare have teamed up to bring you the latest news and trends in healthcare. Health Watch, presented by UMass Memorial Healthcare, brings you the healthcare topics that are important to you. From stroke prevention to allergies, skin care to sports injury prevention, and nutrition to pregnancy, Health Watch at UMass Memorial Healthcare informs you on the issues that affect you on a daily basis. Health Watch on Charter TV3. For extended interviews with UMass Memorial Healthcare experts, log on to our website. When it comes to health care, one phone number is all you need to remember. 855-UMASS-MD. 
855-UMASS-MD connects you to our network of more than 1,600 great doctors with expertise in every specialty for adults, kids, and babies. More doctors, more expertise, more locations. Wherever you are, we are there. UMass Memorial Healthcare, 855-UMASS-MD. planning and cooking in bulk on the weekend. I try to cook two or three things on the weekend, like a stir fry, a batch of roasted vegetables, a soup or a stew that will last me through the week. But we all find that there are days when we come home from work, generally midweek, Wednesdays, Thursdays, when we run out of homemade food and then we are wondering what to eat for dinner. Now at such times having a backup plan in the form of frozen meals is a good idea. Frozen meals, yes, they are somewhat processed, they are not homemade, but they are a better option to take out. Frozen meals are cheaper than takeout meals, they are healthier, they generally have less calories, sodium, than takeout meals. And um, there are a lot of brands these days that actually taste really good. One of the problems with frozen meals used to be that they tasted bland. Uh, there's a lot of great brands out there like Smart Made, uh, simply uh, steamers from Healthy Choice bowls that have a ton of flavor from spices and herbs and a lot of vegetables too. And yes, it's true that they do have sodium around the 500 milligram serving per serving. But if you think about it, for a meal, that's not too bad. If you're trying to stick to 2,000 milligrams of sodium per day and eating four meals a day, that does give you about 500 milligrams of sodium to play with per meal. If you could put together a quick salad on the side or a quick stir fry with some fresh or frozen vegetables, um, made in a skillet with some garlic, olive oil, some lemons, a little dash of soy sauce, to go with something like this on the side or toss a quick salad on the side, you have a complete meal in less than 15, 20 minutes. The other good thing about frozen meals is that they're pre-portioned. If you get a takeout meal from a restaurant, chances are it's probably gonna be a thousand plus calories. And if you're really hungry at the end of the day, it's hard to split it or have half. Um, but these, because they're pre-portioned, they're generally less than 400, 500 calories. And if you put together some veggies on the side, a salad or a stir fry, then the entire meal can be about, about half the calories of a restaurant takeout meal. Here's something new and interesting in the frozen vegetable section, rice cauliflower. This is a great side dish. I love the ones that have added scallions and carrots and peas, almost like a fried rice. I love adding some garlic powder, onion powder, a little dash of soy sauce, and some fried egg strips or chicken, and it's like fried rice, but much lower in calories than using regular rice, much lower in carbohydrates. Fresh and frozen edamame beans, soybeans, are rich in protein and fiber. Very filling, very satisfying. A great addition to soups and stir fries or just plain steamed with a little dash of butter, salt and pepper. I'm a big fan of these. I have a ton of these in my freezer right now. Bird's Eye Frozen Protein Blends. They are available in six or seven different flavors. It's a meal in a bag. Each bag has some kind of cooked bean or lentil some kind of vegetable, some kind of grain, such as brown rice or quinoa, and a sauce that brings it all together. This is a quick meal. I also really like these veggie-made pastas. Now, this is not regular pasta, it's lentil pasta. So the pasta itself is made from lentils, so it's much higher in protein and fiber than regular pasta. I decided to try it because I was curious, and I was very pleasantly surprised with the taste. It was very flavorful, so I do have a few of these in my freezer for weeknights when I don't have much time to cook a meal from scratch. We are in the bread island. There's so many choices here. Um, the first thing I like to look at when buying bread is the ingredient list. If the first ingredient is whole wheat flour or whole grain flour, that's a good sign because the first ingredient generally makes up the bulk of the product. There are a lot of um, wheat breads or multigrain breads where the first ingredient is enriched wheat flour and that's just regular refined white flour. People sometimes, sometimes think wheat flour is whole wheat flour, but wheat flour is actually refined flour. So if a bread has whole wheat flour, 
or whole grain flour is the first ingredient, that's a good sign because that tells you that most of the flour used for that bread was whole grain. And why is whole grain flour so much better than refined flour? Because of the fiber content, the fact that it digests slowly and keeps you satisfied longer than white bread and refined flour, which turns to sugar quickly, makes you hungrier sooner. Another thing I like to look at when I'm buying breads is the number of ingredients. Um, I do see even healthy whole grain breads that have 15, 20 ingredients, and a lot of those ingredients are preservatives. Ideally, when you think of bread, you want flour, yeast, salt, and that's it. Um, and there are brands that are fairly natural, wholesome, with minimal preservatives. Two of my favorite brands that I use at home are Vermont Bread Company and Dave's Killer Bread. Both of these have a lot of whole grains, especially the Dave's Killer Bread has hardly any flour, mostly whole grains, ground up. And both of these have ingredients that you can actually pronounce. So real food ingredients, not preservatives. Charter TV3 and UMass Memorial Healthcare have teamed up to bring you the latest news and trends in healthcare. Health Watch, presented by UMass Memorial Healthcare, brings you the healthcare topics that are important to you. From stroke prevention to allergies, skin care to sports injury prevention, and nutrition to pregnancy, Health Watch and UMass Memorial Healthcare informs you on the issues that affect you on a daily basis. Health Watch on Charter TV3. For extended interviews with UMass Memorial Healthcare experts, log on to our website. When it comes to health care, one phone number is all you need to remember. 855-UMASS-MD. 855-UMASS-MD connects you to our network of more than 1,600 great doctors with expertise in every specialty for adults, kids, and babies. More doctors, more expertise, more locations. Wherever you are, we are there. UMass Memorial Healthcare. 855-UMASS-MD. aisle and the two things I like looking for are protein and fiber because that just makes for a nice filling breakfast that keeps you satisfied through till lunch. In an ideal world going with the unsweetened cereals would be best such as grape nuts and bran flakes which are high fiber without any added sugars. On the other hand if you are someone who really likes your cereal sweet or if you have kids at home who will only eat frosted flakes or fruit loops and if you want to Veer them toward a healthier cereal. Something like shredded wheat or crackling oat bran are great because they have more whole grains, higher fiber than some of those refined sweetened cereals. Yet they are sweeter, they have more flavor, and kids would be much, op much more open to trying these as opposed to unsweetened bran flakes. Let's talk about some label reading basics. The claims that you see on labels, so if you're looking at calories, fat, fiber, sodium, um, and on the front if you see claims such as low fat versus reduced fat, low sodium versus reduced sodium, what does it all mean? So there are laws that say that you can't call a product low fat or low sodium unless it has a certain number of grams or milligrams per serving. For example, the legal definition of low sodium is 140 milligrams per serving or less for all products. Now on the other hand, reduced sodium is a relative term. It means 25% less sodium than the original product. So for example, you could have a Campbell's regular tomato soup with 1,000 milligrams of sodium per serving and a reduced sodium soup with 750 milligrams of sodium per serving you might think that because it says reduced sodium, that it's low sodium, but it still might be higher in sodium than low sodium, which would be less than 140 milligrams per serving. Generally, it's hard to find a lot of products that are below 140, but I look for the below 200 to 250 ballpark if possible. Um, 
Same thing with low fat and reduced fat. There's a law that says that you can't call a product low fat unless it's three grams of fat per serving or less for all products. On the other hand, reduced fat means 25% less fat than the original product. Trans fat is the worst kind of fat, so ideally you want to look for products that have zero trans fat or are trans fat free. With saturated fat, uh, that's more and more evidence over the last five to 10 years seems to be showing us that saturated fat is not a big concern unless you have high cholesterol levels. The jury is still out on whether people with high cholesterol need to minimize saturated fat. But we definitely know that saturated fat is not half as bad as hydrogenated oils and trans fats which is why butter is a better option than margarine. When you're looking at a food label, they all look the same. They all generally have calories and serving sizes on top, and then everything else that follows after that, such as total fat, saturated fat, carbohydrates, fiber, sodium. Looking at the serving size is important. A lot of people look at calories, um, but sometimes the, ca the calories are always per serving. And the serving size <clears throat> may be what you expect it to be, or it may be different. Sometimes when you're looking at um, beverages, such as iced teas, for example, um, and a single serving iced tea might say that it has 60 calories, but that it has two servings per bottle. Now, a lot of people might actually drink the entire bottle at one time. And so they might want to look closer, more closely at the fine print to look at the serving size because when they do, they might realize that even though it says 60 calories per serving, that the to total calories in the entire bottle is 120 calories. So if you're looking at a food label, uh, the things that I really like to look for are protein, fiber, and calories, and serving sizes also. But in general, if you're looking for foods that are filling, that are satisfying, and yet healthy, not too high in calories, then I generally look at the protein, fiber, and calories per serving, and the serving size. The rule of thumb when you're looking at the ingredients list is the shorter, the better. What that means is that it has more wholesome ingredients and fewer preservatives. If they are ingredients that you can actually pronounce, that's a bonus, uh, because if they sound like chemicals, then they're probably preservatives. We'd like to thank Stop and Shop in Lincoln Plaza in Worcester for allowing our cameras into their store. Join us Wednesdays on Worcester News tonight at 10 and 11 p.m. for our weekly Health Watch segments where UMass Memorial doctors and experts discuss health topics important to you. And for past Health Watch segments, visit our website at www.chartertv3.com and click on the News tab. Thank you for joining us. I'm Brittany Schaefer. Have a great night.